here we go. Hello, sweethearts and lovelies, and welcome to a stream that I'm doing for the first time since Christmas. Oh my god. <laughs> Hopefully it doesn't explode on me, but this is Double Dragon 4. It came out when? Three or four days ago? Something like that. Anyway, it has a story about how nuclear war ruined the Earth. <laughs> Rather grim. It's, it's, it's some Mad Max hot Fist of the North Star bullshit. 26 view. No, that can't be right. 26 viewers. <laughs> that cannot be correct. The chat would be a lot more active if there were 26 viewers. But anyway, the game came out. It's got a lot of uh, varied critical reception. Um, someone on GameFAQs gave it like 9 out of 10, something like that, and said, It's the greatest double dragon, oh my god! Uh, other sites were a bit more critical. I uh, can't name them off the top of my head. I think Game Informer is one of them. Gave it a 6 out of 10, which is about the score I gave it. And uh, IGN gave it 3.5 out of 10. Which is terrifying, because that's AVGN Adventures level of a low score opinion having. Which uh, makes it sound like it's the worst thing ever. Which is really just sort of mediocre. But we're just going to play a bit of it. Like, well, I, I, by a bit of it, I mean all of it, because it's really short, actually. So, oh, fuck it. Alright, let's uh, pick the story. But, oops, that's bad. If you press start, um, you can s have a stage select. So don't press start. That's the easiest cheat code in the world to just do. Press start to pick any level. So we're just going to pick the story and, uh, yeah, you can do two-player A. Two-player B? Why do they have fucking two-player B? Who plays a beat-em-up where you can beat each other up? That's the thing that you all, that everyone complains about Battletoads about. Oh, you can't play the two-player because the family fire is always on. And everyone hates it. Why do they do that? Is it some legacy feature? Because uh, if you look at these sprites, they're very clearly Double Dragon 2 sprites. Uh, th th this game is a, is a big Double Dragon om 2 homage, as it were. This is like supposed to be the Mega Man 9 of uh, Double Dragon games, where it's like, Hey guys, remember Double Dragon 2? Well, that was great. Here's another one of those. Except where Mega Man was like already a good series, Double Dragon the Double Dragon series is, a uh, well, it's not great, let's be honest. Even Double Dragon 2 has its bad moments. Anyway, um, you can pick up a whole bunch of characters that are unlocked in the tower mode, so you can be this guy, and this girl, and this lady, and Bulbo, and Chin, and big guy with the mask, and the Tonfa dude, these ninja people, I'm not gonna show off all these people. We're, we're gonna beat the, their faces up. So let's just start this with Billy, Billy Lee. I honestly don't know if when you pick two player, it calls you Bimmy. I would not be fucking surprised because Double Dragon Neon had that joke in it, for Christ's sakes. Anyway. <clears throat> so, they overcome the power of the Gensutsu. What? So, I don't know what the Gensutsuken technique is supposed to be. One day, they were driving through the desert on their way to the West Coast Dojo. They're gonna hit San Francisco. Oh no, a car! And a car hit them. It, that's it. Mission one. Mission one. Okay, so. You got punching, you got kicking, and thank the good Christ, I'm, I'm pressing the double, I'm pressing jump by hitting both buttons, but jump has its own button, and we can just do a nice spin kick. And there's other extra moves, too. Oh, well, hang on. Like, you can do a hyper knee, and a, and a thing, and the guy can throw a boulder at your face, which I don't want. Ah, ah. Yeah. You know what? I'll throw a boulder at his face. Yeah, there you go. Mission one, vehicular homicide. There's also extra moves. Uh, you can do this weird thing where you, like, headbang. Uh, there's this roundhouse kick thing. And an elbow from behind. I'm just going to pick up this knife. So you have three lives and uh, five continues and credits. And that's all you get. That's, that's all you fucking get in this game. Like, you can't change it, which is unfortunate. But this knife just, just kills everyone in one hit. It's just a bit easy. Just a bit easy. It's just... Where's, where's the fight here? I don't know. Okay, 
Yeah, so we get to go in, but we're gonna lose our knife. And, uh, let's do some spin kicking. Bam! Ooh, shit. Just mash the button and you can do a thing right there. Pew! I'll show you my favorite move, though. This thing. We just... You hit the, uh, the, this button, and then in the middle of that animation, you just hit punch or kick, and you do this corkscrew, and it does a shitload of damage. Also, this section is really fucking weird, actually. Like, you're just auto-sailing along, and when I first played it, I honestly expected people to jump out at me and the risk of hanging. As I was saying, I half expected people to jump out at me and the risk of uh, getting knocked into the water and losing a life. Like, that was honestly what I would expect from Double Dragon. But, no. I actually didn't do that. Hyper knee this guy. Yeah, the hyper knee and the... Uh, the thing, the, the, the spinning kick are both, like, the most broken moves in Double Dragon. But... <laughs> They're Double Dragon 2, rather. But they're not that great here, and we fight this mask guy, which is not as good of a fight, because in Double Dragon 2, you can knock him into a fug off the cliff. But you can't do that here, so... I'm just gonna do that. And we're gonna follow up with a bit of that. And we're gonna do a bit of that. And he's done! I saw a review on Steam that was something like, oh wait, there's a cutscene. Burn off! Just doing our jobs. Jake of the Renegades hired you to do this. Mission 2. Yeah, yeah, whatever. <laughs> what was that? Uh, um, uh... Right, reviews on Steam. So I saw one review on Steam, and it was something like, oh, here we go, it's another entry in this series. It's gonna be frustratingly hard and old school. And I'm like, okay. First of all, I hate when you say that about these retro-inspired games. Like, oh, they're so difficult. Oh, boy. All the old games were really goddamn hard and impossible. Which already drives me. But this game ain't even that hard, I-M-O. I'm like, I'll level with you. This is my third playthrough of the game. My first playthrough, I got to the final boss, and I died. My first playthrough... Oh shit, hang on. My second playthrough, I uh, knew about that weird corkscrew move I just showed you. And I, uh, I, I, be, I tore through the game, which I might do again, I might not. But retro games were impossible. I know, Polly, it's like the hardest goddamn game ever. Battletoads is ostensibly a beat them up. Oh shit. I didn't expect to hit that guy with like that. Okay. Hey, there's, there's another guy I know, but I guess he doesn't come till later. So. Oh, okay. He can just walk off his cliff. Okay, now this guy will come. And we just do that. Is he dead? Yeah, he's dead. Polygon refused to review Nile because it was too difficult? Oh my god. I mean, they got to have somebody on that site that's a, a hard game person. I mean, now here's the boss fight. It's the Bobo. And then uh, you can charge. And I can just... Oh, okay. It's actually a... Damn. Oops. Bam! Okay. Come, come on, come on. Come, come here, Bobo. Come here, Bobo. Oh, shit. Okay. Maybe I shouldn't taunt Bobo. Ooh! Right in the button. There we go. That's what I wanted to do to burn off. I wanted to blast them, shit, blast them off a cliff. That's the most satisfying part of a Double Dragon game, is shit blasting dudes off of cliffs. IMO. That's, that must be Jake up in the helicopter. Let's get on top of that trailer and make sure he doesn't get away. Billy and Jimmy. Jumps on top of this dude eating truck. Not Billy and Jimmy. You gotta keep saying. Jesus. The health system seems to work like Double Dragon is twos as well, and that you have 800 bazillion health. Yeah, I mean, in case you can't tell from looking at this thing, they really love Double Dragon too. That has to be an achievement. 
I wish. Uh, the achievements are locked. So I'm not sure. But, uh, hmm. Hang on. Yeah, okay. But I'm, I'm thinking it's like Double Dragon 2 with the weird reversal thing. A bombo. <laughs> like a goddamn meat grinder. Look at this shit. <laughs> Why can't you knock the bobo off the building? Callus says, I like after how you knocked the bobo off the building. Jake was like, nope, not dealing with that. And just flies off. I need to use this, this corpse to move more often, though. Are you done? Okay. You're done. I can go in here now. I think? Yeah. Where I gotta fight two of Bobos as, as the boss. And a bunch of other fellas as well. That's a telephone. Don't worry about that shit. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Shit. Blasting left and right. It's strange because usually in beat em ups, they stack the odds against you, and enemies can just combo fuck you into oblivion. But here. You can just... No, nah, never mind that. Here you can just, uh... You can combo fuck them. Mason? I thought his name was a Bobo. Oh, wait, was oh, one of those guys in the gray... Yeah, no way two brothers can get it. Willie's dead. You guys defeated Willie! Yeah, it's all thanks to you guys taking out the Black Warriors. You bastards! Hey, now, you can't swear this. This is a Nintendo tape. I mean, a uh, homage to a Nintendo tape. Mission 4. Um, Mission 4 is neat. <laughs> Talu Hotel. Okay. Oh, yeah, this is actually, this one, this one's kind of tricky. Oh, no, wait, no, it isn't. I remember this mission. You get this fucking box, and you just throw it at people repeatedly, and you win. Like, literally. This box one hits everyone. Just a fucking box. TJC, you just, you just throw the fucking box at people and they die. There was a go to that cafe and have soda to celebrate. Yeah. So yeah, this game's a aesthetic, very clearly Double Dragon 2, which... I mean, it's a safe choice, I guess. But there's hardly any Double Dragon 3 nostalgia in here. I do like this area, though. The, the casino, but it's so mercifully short, like, it's just this, and then the boss fight, ooh, god, oh, oh, you got a bat, huh, ow, Jesus, he threw the bat at me, okay, okay, they're kind of swarming now, but it's okay, because I've got this move, ooh, I'll take the bat, though, so let's see if hiding in the box, that's why it does so much damage. Okay, so now we gotta fight Burn Off, Bobo, and Jake. This is actually kind of tricky. I guess I just want to take care of these guys first. Uh, okay. And, and stay the fuck away from Jake, because he hits like a brick fucking truck if you let him. Oh, God. Uh-oh. This is not gonna be good. Okay. Give me my bat back. Oops. I dropped the bat. Oh, 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 that... Oh, Jesus! Oh, he's dead. Okay. So he's dead. And he's dead, so all that's left is burn off and... No? Not dead yet. I would've liked some Double Dragon 3 nostalgia in here, just because... And I know this is an opinion Polly shares with me. I actually kind of like Double Dragon 3. The one life, the one life per character thing is kind of shitty, but uh, it's, it's doable. Even if you don't save your partner. Oh yeah, this, this, like, watch this shit. What do you mean? What you mean, Marion? What did you do to Marion? Meanwhile, just straight up a little bit of a redraw of the opening to Double Dragon One. It just, it just gets me. It just gets me. It just, it just. Pop the fucking thing right back in there and change two sprites to the. <laughs> Why did they fucking do that? 
Is that their Double Dragon Vlog nostalgia? Hey guys, remember the intro cutscene to Double Dragon Vlog? Well, here it is again. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> it shouldn't be so funny, but it is. Oh, damn. Her elbow's got moves. Yeah, you're not invincible when you do this shit. You lay the hurt on people. And I can learn the timing of the combo for Well, that was shameless. It wasn't it just? <laughs> Get retried to that was exact port. I know. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I laughed so much. At it. Uh -oh. Okay, get rid of that Bobo. Eh. Oops. Okay. This guy's not done yet. Oh damn. Okay. So the charge beats my thing here. Eh. Oh god. I mean, Double Dragon was kind of tough because it was bullshit, and this game is trying th th to match that, but, uh oh, shit. Now, I wanted the corpse strip, see? It, it, well, uh, okay, uh, maybe I should have, maybe I should clear up more people before I fucking shit talk how easy this game is, but all I gotta do, really... use this attack and I got it I might lose a life here but I don't I don't really care if I do I do if I don't I don't come on time for guy get, get the fuck oh that was that was it I didn't lose a life <clears throat> by the way there are 12 stages in this where's Marion so the Okada sisters have her why do the Okada sisters want her I don't know who are the Okada sisters? I don't know. <laughs> Who are they? They're the head of the Okada Corporation. Why? Okay. What? What do they want with Marion being evil and hiring street thugs? I don't fucking know. <laughs> you get to Japan, Golden. Yeah. No. I won't understand. I really won't. The Double Dragons head to the Haba. So now we go. Uh, Got to get on boat. On das boat. Okay. Just uh, just, just just wait this shit out. Yeah. Woo! Oops. Woo! Oh, let's punch. Oops. Okay, maybe I'll kick. Oops. These guys, these guys with their throwing shit are kind of annoying too. I don't think I've really played an Arc System Works game, probably, but yeah. It's not, nothing's really new. It's just weird. <laughs> it's just sort of an effortless comfort breeze? Question mark? For Double Dragon fans? <laughs> I mean, I know we were talking on Twitter today. You said that you're not the biggest fan of Double Dragon Neon, but I countered, at least that game has a goddamn soul to it. Like, it's drip. Like, the uh, aesthetic of that game, the uh, mission statement, is, if you will, is dripping with 80s neon vaporwave. What's the mission statement behind this one? Double Dragon 2 was a good game. I don't get it. I really don't. Anyway, here's a boss fight. No, oh, no, no, here's not a boss fight. Okay, we gotta still do this shit. They got conveyor belts and bullshit. Okay, this guy's gonna jump down. Alright, that's fine. Ooh. I don't. I didn't even know he could do that move. But, shit blasted. This doesn't look terrible, but you probably just saved me five quid tonight. Yeah. Maybe, maybe. You just wait and see how goddamn short it is. I, I swear. Uh oh, am I gonna make that? And this is the fastest way to get to Japan, especially if you know you're trying to rescue someone. See, if this was Double Dragon Neon, they'd get on a goddamn Pagoda rocket ship to go to Japan. But instead, it's just a... Oops. Oh, you actually can jump there. That's, that's interesting. Ooh. Hey. Okay, yeah, that killed him. 
Yeah. Like the, the the price of this, I believe, is seven dollars uh, USD, which is okay, I guess. Oops, that fucked me. Okay, that's, that's not the worst. That's 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 a Double Dragon Neon. So silly. Yeah, it's a silly game. <laughs> But God damn it, they're trying to be silly, and I like that. I admire that. This is... What is this? It's decent. That's what it is. Okay, are these guys going to follow me? Can I get these guys to follow me? Because if I can get these guys to follow me, that'd be great. Or, oops. Ah! Oh, no. Ah! Into the lava I go. Oh, I shouldn't be fucking around. I'm on, I'm on the way at one health. Oh, now I'm at no health. Oh, well. Ooh, ah! <laughs> Melted in the fucking lava. I love it. Okay, now th this boss fight, which should be hard, but... Just use that fucking corkscrew kick. Yeah, eh, adequate. It's okay. <laughs> it's functional okay. <laughs> Ooh, that hurts. It is a playable game that people can play start to finish, release it. You're not wrong. <laughs> okay, that's one. That's two. All that's left is uh, the Hulk here. Oh, look at that. I'm done. <laughs> Like, if you've ever played a Double Dragon game before, like Double Dragon 2, say? Casey. Oh, this is this is one of the Okuda sisters. But why are you doing this? Yeah, so, okay, okay, their motivation is, a uh, fucking... We want to take over the U.S., but the Double Dragons are in our way. You're all insane! Also, there's Shannon and Casey Okuda. Okay, what? What the fuck? Okay, maybe there is a plot here, but it doesn't make one lick of sense. It's not even funny, like Double Dragon Neons. It's not even silly tongue-in-cheek bullshit. So we're over halfway through the game. I've died once. Now we're in Japan, and we got karate fellas in their geese. And they're actually kind of tricky, but I can just do this shit. Maybe. Oops. Messed up my inputs there. That's... Oh, look at that. Like, I've just found an effective move and I'm using it to steamroll the game. That's all I have to do. Oh, holy shit. I can actually pick that shit up? Hmm. Okay. Oh, that didn't do much. Oh, well. Okay. Damn. Let's get these guys with these things. Yeah, this guy, these guys kind of suck because they can just do that thing with the uh, throwing their shit. Which they might do a couple times in Double Dragon 2, but in this game they just do it non-fucking-stop. And it's annoying as shit. Hey look, this was in Double Dragon 1! Remember that? <laughs> And all I gotta do is just mash the button, the uh, kick button, when I'm down, and I pull up that hyper knee. Like, it was a lot fin more finicky in Double Dragon 2. Really. I know I keep saying, but in Double Dragon 2 it was like this a lot, but... Honestly, look at this game. It's fucking... <laughs> unashamedly Double Dragon 2 fan service. Like, something I would've liked to see from Double Dragon 3 come back are the weapons. Like, just, you have some nunchucks that you can use? Oh, shit. So, platforming, which is a, a bit easier when you have a dedicated jump button, but, eh. It's in there because the other game had it, so this one's got to have it, too. Oh, shit. Okay. Jumping off of this thing is like jumping off a goddamn... Like you're on the goddamn moon or some shit. Okay, um, there's a guy that's going to come here. Ooh! 
Oh, okay. I'm so glad. I'm so glad that didn't kill me. <laughs> like, I didn't fall between the spaces. Okay, you're gonna come out. Or I could just do that. And then that. See ya! <laughs> Alright, where, where are they? Yeah. Oh no! They've got green geese now! That's, that's terrible. Actually, this is kind of bad because they're more powerful. They've got better moves. Oh, shit. Come on. Shit blaster. Oh, yeah, and that's the end of the level. Like, they could have put some fucking boss music in here or something. Anyway, we're heading to Okata Tower on a bike now. That's, that's, that's mission eight. When I first got to this, I thought this was the last level. Like, eight, eight missions, that's, that's enough. To my surprise, no. No, actually, I'm not hitting anybody. And I really should hit this guy because he's gonna... spam a bunch of bullshit. Like he's doing right now. go into Okuda Tower. There's a bunch of maces. Oh no! These fellas are pink now. They've got pink clothes on. They're stronger. Because pink makes you stronger. Oh, see, that's what I mean. This, this shit with the throwing. They didn't... They weren't that aggressive with it. In two. Oh, okay, okay. Another thing is they don't follow you down to the very bottom plane. The very bottom of the plane, like I could hang in here and probably be safe. Let's let's just let's just see with these two. Can they hit me? Okay. Well, I, I moved up that time. That that was me. I moved up because that guy was coming. I didn't even want him to be spamming that shit. Oh, damn it! Knock it off. Probably gonna lose another life here, but that's okay. Oops. Are there any new sprites in this game or at all that weren't just recolored a bit and used as different enemies in this game? Uh. I don't think. Uh, the final boss sprites are new. I guess. Oh, yeah, and there's an bubble in an elevator. It should be a really tense fight, but you can just do that. <laughs> oh, now this shit! <laughs> because nothing is complete without... Hey, remember the spooky haunted house level from... Oh, shit. I died. Oh, but I can continue. That's okay. Remember the spooky haunted house level? Oh, shit. Okay. This is actually the worst I've done at this section. Just because I've been fucking around. Okay. Let's, uh, let's go now. Nope! Oh my god, okay. This is actually a troublesome. Oh my god. Well, they these things are so out of sync now that Oh my fucking god, when they're blinking they don't exist. <laughs> okay, so I was laughing at this for the difficulty, but now you look at what I've done. Can I make it? At least I got back on the platform. They're so out of sync now. Okay, I made it. Good. Wow, almighty. Can't believe I lost the entire credit to that. Oh shit. This, this is, this, okay, I'm not, I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna lie. This is actually the worst I've ever done at this part. Like, I don't remember it being this bad. Oh my fucking god. <laughs> but this is actually pretty fucking bad now, isn't it? Oh my fuck. And, uh, by the way, leap of faith. Oh shit. Ooh, my god. 
god. Let me just knock that guy. That's the thing. Okay, so that part really fucking sucked. Actually. Wow. Yeah, hey, there's there was one of the new sprites. That was one of the final boss ladies. That was Shannon Nakuda. And uh Oh wait, there is some boss music here now. Okay. Ah! Oh god. And this is something that I don't miss. Do you remember how the NES couldn't handle more than a couple sprites at once? Well great, how about we up the ante by having five guys come at you at once? That'll be fun, right? That won't be bullshit at all. I'm actually kind of cooling down on this a little bit. That platforming section was a bit bullshit. <laughs> but that was the worst I've ever done of it, so. <laughs> so. Oh, you fucker. There we go. Ah! Mission 8 clear on the ground. Siphoned at least two credits from it. <laughs> Jesus. Hey, Ro Rauper? Roper. Rinka in Cabochico. This this is this is a nice looking stage. I'll give it that. Oh shit. Oh my god. This went on my wish list and was off about five minutes later. Don't don't worry, Polly. You, you can, you're gonna see the entirety of the game here. Trust me. We've been going for half an hour and already we are what seventy five percent through the game. <laughs> I'm not kidding. Honestly, I'm not kidding. Also, final boss of this area, right here, the sumo guy, who I don't think gets recolored. But gets reused. It is, it is a bit monotonous. I, I, I gotta say. Ooh, I got really bad to check. Me. Ah, God. Okay, okay. And now we can just do this. to do to win he's not clear it's a sumo dude at least that's a new sprite yep you got me hate wow where are the Akaz sisters oh the castle oh here's another uh, new enemy whenever they come up bunch of new ninjas which I guess is technically a Double Dragon 3 thing, because there were ninjas in Double Dragon 3. This is fun, though. You're climbing up, and then you just... Uh... Oh, oh, God. Don't worry about it. Ooh, shit. Taki from Soul Calibur. Neat. <laughs> God. That's a cool sprite. Why wouldn't you use more of her and make new things like that? Yeah. But, but, Polly, you don't understand. Double Dragon 2 sprites. That's the one. That's the game people like. So let's use the sprites from that game. And people will like our game. Shit. I better know that. Ah! See, I'm just gonna move past this shit. Probably gonna lose another credit here, but I'm not that frightened of it. There we go. 
Is this the thing I think it is? Oh yeah, this is actually kind of bullshit. Because this is a, a some sort of door maze. This game is this thing not from some weird offshoot Chinese company. It comes from Arc System Works. Hey, hey, remind me, Polly, did Arc System Works do a hardcore uprising? Is that a thing they've done? I, I think that's them. I'm like 60% sure. Oh, I'm not doing the spin kick. The Double Dragon Legacy. See, you can just pick your door, so I'm just gonna... I, I, I know the path here, so... The middle door just has three fucking guys in it. <laughs> yes, they did. Holy shit. And that was good, right? That wasn't just, hey, remember Contra Hardcore? <laughs> Here's a bunch of sprites from it. Oh, boy. <laughs> Yeah, now I think I take the middle again. Can I pick up this box? Yeah, I can pick up this box. Hey, remember when this guy was the boss last time? Ooh. Ooh, a chunk of wood. Here's two of them! Oh, I missed. back on screen so I can throw my little uh, brick at him. Eh! A chunk of wood! Oh, I missed. That's unfortunate. They're not both dead yet, I know. Woo! Oh, shit! I hit the right door. Oh, wait! Never mind. That was correct. So this is the boss. Now we got a big karate guy. He's an original sprite. Oops. I'm dead. Time to use the continue. Hardcore Uprising holds up. I'm thinking of getting it. I think they're getting it for that PS3. Oh yeah, these guys suck. They got this move where they just do like a, this shining aura bullshit. And if you touch them while they're doing it, it hurts. It takes off like half your health. Which, which, which blows. So, so maybe don't hit them when you do that shit. Otherwise, just to... So you gotta put a little thought into spamming your cool move. And you're fighting these guys. Of which you're gonna fight what? On two more, maybe? Oops, I just did a headbutt there. Oh, mission 10 clear. Mission 10 clear. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you're my match. And he's just gonna take us to the Okada Sisters Vila. Now we got Takuma from King of Fighters. <laughs> ah! I should have hit Burnout from the other side. Legit question, is this a real licensed game? Yes, Mr. Crawler. This is honest to God. Someone paid Technos money for the rights and made this. <laughs> or whoever the hell owns the rights to Technos these days. I'm actually doing bad at this part. Just gotta clear out. Oh, this is bad. Oh god. Ooh. Rip sprites. But you don't understand, Mr. Crawler. Double Dragon 2 is a game that existed and people remember it. After 30 years of Double Dragon. How about this? A bobo, but he's gray. What? Holy shit. Okay, th this is fun. This is fun. <laughs> Where we walk in here, and there's the Okada sisters and the guy, and they're like, thumbs down. Any objections, lady? How much is this? $7. Mr. Crawler, seven dollars. Which I guess isn't the worst if you're really, really into Double Dragon. 
but there's also some shit that is just fucking terrible. <laughs> So I'm starting to cool on my opinion on this a little bit. This probably is a 5 out of 10, for being honest, but whatever. <laughs> 5, 6, I I'll, I'll honestly give a shit about numbers. <laughs> it's like if you really, 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 really love Double Dragon 2. Oh yeah, and th there's this bullshit again, but uh, any objections, Technos? Yes! Several! Oh god, oh god, am I gonna get fucked? Whoa! Okay, I didn't get fucked. See this? Oh shit. Okay, I got fucked. I got fucked. This is, this is not gonna go well. They're gonna spin on me. I know it. I know it. Okay. These guys look like they're trying to hail a taxi. Do I do it again? Oh, no. No, I didn't do it again. Okay. Maybe I shouldn't have gone for this. I knew it. Okay. Oh, wait. I'm okay. I'm okay. Uh, they bring this bullshit back from Double Dragon 1! Also, if you go in that door, you loop back. So don't do that. Instead, go forward. <laughs> of all the fucking Double Dragon 1 callbacks, they bring back the most bullshit one. They might as well have had you platform across fucking cave. Shit. For all I care. <laughs> You gotta be kind of fast to get past that one. And then you go in here, and that's that's mission eleven, and you save Marion, and they went to the bridge of the gods. Final level time. This is the final level, and uh, it's a bunch of enemies. Oh no! There's two of these original karate men, and they're in blue. Actually, everything on the screen right now, except Billy Lee, is an original sprite, so... That's something, I guess. But, I mean, the sensible argument would be that the entire fucking game should have been like this! How far we get before punching Nazis mentioned? I did name my article. Um, 2017 is the year of punching people in the face. <laughs> so there's that. If you played and reviewed this, you'd be one salty Polly. It would have been a throwback to old Polly reviews. <laughs> this game is trash. Uh, it's it's questionable. I'll 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 give you that much. Okay, so here's the final battle. This is the last boss. And we've got Jake and a sumo man, who's a little darker this time, versus the sisters, who just pull out fucking revolvers and start shooting at you. <laughs> Remember Double Dragon 1 when that guy had a machine gun and was total bullshit? What if we did that? Actually, uh, I'm in trouble here if I don't clear somebody out. These guns do a shitload of damage, so. Yes, Mr. Crawler, this game is really that short. <laughs> Which of you have I hit more? Okay, I'm getting shot again. Yeah, there's... There's just nothing here. It's a husk, ain't it? Uh-oh. I can just... Boss design. Oh, now I've got both of them in a loop. Now there's only one left. Hey. Mission 12 clear. Binary, Mr. Crawler. Binary. Okay, here's the ending. Ugh. Ugh.
Kill me once and for all. We don't use the art of Sazetsuken to kill. We were trying to kill you. I don't think you're a bad person. Can someone like me really keep on living? You're not weak at all. You're the strongest, kindest woman I've ever known. You always have my back. My brother and I are strong. We recognize our weaknesses. Conquering the weaknesses is the very principle of Sosetsuken. Can even someone like me turn over a new leaf? If you're thinking like that, then you're already halfway there. The end! entire thing in that 45 minutes or whatever I was streaming for. 40 minutes. I don't know how long I was playing this. Is this a Flash game? Nope. This is an official Steam and PS4 release. You can buy this on your PS4 and play it in 4K 1080p HD. <laughs> Holy shit. Thanks for taking the bullet for us. Yeah, I mean, well, here. I, I looked at it like this. It was seven nine. It was like eight ninety nine Canadian, which is a bit more. You were too kind to this. I know. I know. Game is trash. Eh, straight up. I don't know. Maybe I don't know what. What? Maybe because it wasn't bullshit hard, and it wasn't an overt reference fest, it didn't set off my bullshit radar as much. This is silly. Oh my god. I do admit, yeah, that another playthrough has made me cool off a, a, a bit on this. Like, I thought, hey, I mean, the replay value is there and that you can play it with the other characters if you really, really want. But, I mean, eh. I wouldn't really, re I don't know if I would be so glowingly recommendative. Like, if I'm going to tell you to buy a Double Dragon game, I'm going to tell you to buy Double Dragon Eon. If we're being honest. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Calling this game trash is kind of an insult to Vert, really. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Sorry. Anyway, I'm going to do the tower mode just, just before we call it. Oh, I fucking hit the mission select again. Anyway, tower mode is uh, just this thing. Here, here's the value for your game. A hundred waves of enemies. On each floor! Wow! It's like a beat em up roguelike! Except I'm pretty sure this isn't randomly generated at all. Also, I can still do this move over and over again! User reviews mostly positive. What? Really? Because when I bought it, it was mixed. Carp crawling. Maybe me getting recommended put it up a bit. I mean, on two playthroughs, I put it firmly in okay tier, but I may have to downgrade that by a bit. <laughs> Nostalgia is like my nest tapes. It's like one specific nest tape. <laughs> see how far I can make it on this thing anyway. Just spamming this one fucking move. Well, I'll be goddamned.
So, uh, Polly, I know, I know you're not the biggest booster of Double Dragon Neon, but, uh, it, it's, it's better than this, I guess, right? <laughs> which, which I, I would agree with, Double Dra because I really like Double Dragon Neon a lot, but even if, if you don't like it, I, I, I think I've made a, I, I've shown that you really would like this game. <laughs> oh my god, it's, it's Double Dragon 4. Oh shit, okay, I'm actually getting kind of beat up now because I'm getting overwhelmed. There we go. You'd happily give Double Dragon Neon another chance over ever touching this. I only have a 30 minute impression of DDN. Yeah, I don't think I said it on Twitter, but a 30 minute impression of this is the game. Like, literally, what you just saw was the game. That's it. <laughs> 30 minutes is what? A handful of state? A, like a, the first couple of stages of Double Dragon Neon? It's so weird that they only like did half the sprites as new sprites. And then just the rest are just double dragon too. Mm, that's fair. Uh, that really hooked me, but then again, I'm a fucking sucker for the 80s. Like, I am a, a stupid neon retrowave synth uh, junkie. Who loves that shit and eats it up like Christmas cookies, so. I've been peeling oranges the entire stream. Nice. This must be some pretty good oranges, Poncho. Oh, God. Hyper knee. Oh, we're not done, huh? Okay. Oh, okay. Gotta watch out for that shit. Which would be preferable to playing this game. <laughs> I'll be honest with you. It's about as monotonous and maybe only slightly less fun. <laughs> like, literally, my... Here's, here's what you do. Move! I got my... I've got the headbutt here button mapped to a left bumper. Left bumper, A! Left bumper, A! <laughs> Move! Left bumper A! That's, that's all you fucking do in this game. Left bumper A. Like, at least the older Double Dragon games will fucking kick your ass ten ways to Sunday because they're quarter munchers. They're based on quarter munchers. But this is just the most effortless fucking thing. The only reason I died so goddamn much was because that uh, platforming section was absolute fucking horseshit that time. I swear to God I beat it really, like, effortlessly in my first two playthroughs. Swear to God. Also, I've beaten this goddamn game... Well, not beaten. Beaten it two times and almost beaten it a third. So it's like 2.90 playthroughs of Double Dragon 4. <laughs> if I wanted to be really scummy, I could have just taken my uh, almost playthrough and then my first clear of the game. That put me at 112 minutes. I could have gotten this thing refunded. I honestly could have gotten my enjoyment of it and refunded it. It's that fucking short. <laughs> Apparently, members of the original Double Dragon design teams worked in this game. They also apparently didn't have one single new idea in 20 years. But Polly, look at this corkscrew move. That's new. Also, we added a jump button. Aren't we just the nicest? Shit. Oh, how did that not get him? Oops. 
This guy's being a major jerk, quad. There. Oh god. Two guns. I could be dead here. Oh shit. Yep, that's it. Oh. I wanted to get to the 30th floor because then you fight Chin and Ranzu from Double Dragon 3. But <laughs> I think that's about all I can do for Double Dragon 4. If I had a friend over, I could play two-player duel or play co-op, but I've already got the meat out of the game, out of the $7 game, in about an hour. <laughs> Oh boy. So, should you buy this game? Probably. <laughs> I uh, I did say in my reviews that you probably should get it if you're a big Double Dragon, a really big Double Dragon 2 fan. I may have to walk that back just a bit. Perceptions change, <laughs> especially when you're playing live. This, this is not the best in the West. Pretty mediocre. Bordering on. Trash, fire, monotonous bullshit. <laughs> like, j j just, just pony up the extra money for Double Dragon Neon. I'll be honest. I mean, if you want to experience the game, you kind of already did. If you're right here, <laughs> now, unless you jumped ahead in the time stream. Ooh, <laughs> Double Dragon 4. <laughs> oh boy. If nothing else, I can say this. I submitted my review for review of the month, so I might get $50 worth of shit off of Amazon for going through this. So I might actually make like 40 of those dollars back. That's, that's the best I got, is that I personally can make profit off of talking and playing about this goddamn game, which is not a good show of confidence for the rest of you people who want to play the game for fun. <laughs> My Double Dragon Neon review. It's not Double Dragon 4. Uh, that's, that's something. Ooh, I almost forgot. I almost forgot one thing. Um, config? No, no, not, not the config. Options? BGM mode? <gasps> it's Nintendo tape music! That's why there aren't really like, good songs in this game. Like, Double Dragon Neon, one of the best things I can say about it is it has a phenomenal soundtrack. This does not. <laughs> oh, God. Well, at least one good thing came of this. The PC did not blow up. And we remained at a cool 60 degrees for my temperature gauge here. So that means I can start a new stream series sometime in the near future when I'm not so busy and I plan all my ducks in a row. Please highlight your squeaky excited voice when the Double Dragon music was playing. I mean, the entire thing is going to be a highlight, Mr. Crawler, but just for you, I'll do that. So uh, I'm going to cut this off now because I think we've all had enough of this, this, this fucking game. This beat em up nonsense that's trying to revive the series or something what what really scares me is that uh, next month there's a reverse city ransom reboot coming out i don't know if that's from the same people and if it is we should be worried i mean river city ransom is a beloved thing so uh hopefully they don't fuck that up and anyway, good night everybody sleep tight Oops, the thing dropped. See ya. Bye-bye. Catch y'all later on Discord or whatever.